Diana looked at the crowd and stepped forward, slightly arching her back towards the legions below. She no longer was just Diana, but she had become the mighty queen of the rebellion, one that I loved with all of my Militis! Et hoc liberati esturei trancun tuis omnibus conversis! Stogo biscum reducitic vos adspem! Nocte! Lavabimur arcem! Hostium sanguine! Ele dio dominati sun nostri! Noste struet ium mitere profundissimum inferni detractos! Diana summoned her saber, letting it shine brightly as brilliantly as the purple taint over her skin began to twist and turn. Before my eyes, the taint on her back took shape, lifting off of Diana's skin and morphed into her beautiful demonic wings. I watched with pride as Diana's body lifted off of the ground and began to fly over the legion, slowly gliding towards the castle. To war! To battle! And that cry marked the dawn of change. The demon world would end the age of the demon lord's tyranny. The demon world would end the age of the demon lord's tyranny and begin the age of united peace and prosperity. With Diana soaring through the air, the air bowed to her and proved her worthy of such power. As I stared, time around me slowed as I would took in everything that had happened. We were at the end of this war. Where would we truly go from there? Who knew? But I knew that I would be at Diana's side forevermore. I managed to seduce her into bringing me to a new world and experience everything. We were in love, and I was certain that she would become the beacon of life, not only for me, but for every demon in this world. After all, she managed to seduce me too. The demon war was only the beginning of our lives together. Well, you wow. did! Congratulations! Wow! You've made it to the end of your story. I have to say, I am very surprised at how it turned out. Me too. Nevertheless, I'm glad things worked out in the end, whether it was for the better or otherwise. I mean, come on. You got to be with a succubus and help her fight in a war. How crazy is that? Not only a succubus, but a smoking hot angel, too. You even got her to admit that she is in love with you. Go you! Demons are very hard to convince that you love them. Tell me about it, I know. Anyways, you've been through a lot, so why don't we skip to... Huh? You want to know what happened after the war? Well, I mean, I, I guess I could tell you. After the war was finished, the entire rebellion celebrated. Word spread far and wide about the rebellion's success, and soon every kingdom in the abyssal plains had become united with the new authority. You would think demons would be more hostile towards each other, being demons and all, but the threat of the demon lord was what brought the entire world together. The final battle between Diana and the demon lord became quickly one-sided, as he was no match for the power she had gathered from your love. And Hotness's love, like twice, twice the power. <laughs> Guess the power of love really does conquer all. Yep. Anyway, when the war ended, the entire rebellion celebrated as Diana presented his head to the masses like a trophy before burning it and letting the ashes sink into the ground. I would have kind of wanted, um, well, I'll, I'll, I would have kind of wanted uh, there to actually be a final battle scene. They could have added that in, because there was a final battle scene against the Demon Lord um, with the boys. Um, especially since she had this epic battle scene with the Demon Lord near the beginning. They, they really should have had another one, you know, because it kind of, it kind the climax kind of, kind of went, ew, that way. And plus, this, Diana's story is so short anyway, um, for, for, understandably so, because... There's a lot of things that you didn't have to deal with. Like, you didn't have to deal with Harkora establishing her relationship with her boys, what's happening with her boys two years later. You don't have to deal with whatever plot-related thing, whatever, may, like, you know, unique plot-related thing was happening with the boys. You didn't have to deal with her, you know, getting sucked into the abyss and having to figure out failed attempt after failed attempt to send her back. And then you didn't have to go through all of the training and you didn't have to go... There were a lot of things that you didn't have to go through in the storyline. So, of course, Diana's storyline was a lot faster, a lot quicker, which is why I think to help balance things a little bit more, they, they really should have added a final fight scene with the Demon Lord. And maybe even, maybe even a love scene with, with Diana and Hotness if, if you manage to form that polyamorous relationship within Diana and Hotness, or even added even added the ability, some scenes for you to get to know Hotness more and even fall in love with Hotness too. 
that would be really cool as well. Just some some thoughts to elongate Diana's story so that it actually so it matched more with the length of the other boys' stories. The day after, she became queen of the demon world. It definitely shocked her, and it took her a while to get used to being called Your Highness by the other demons, but you helped her through it. Thank you. Well, you and Saro, anyway. Both right. of you pretty much became her anchors and support the entire time through her coronation and beginning to rule the world. Saro, being told of the deal she made with you, convinced you to stay in the demon world with them, so that you'd be with her for the rest of your life. Though... I didn't think it was hard to convince you, was it? Not at all. You love the dickens out of her. Come on! Come on, Kay. Still, from what I hear at least, the three of you live happily ever after. Aw, that's so good. Huh? You don't believe me? All right. Check it out for yourself. Let's do it. I want to see me with, with her and hotness. This is so cool. The demon world finally knew peace. It was a grand moment, the sounds of a million cheers echoing and burning themselves in my memory in celebration for the end of the war. Diana had finally destroyed the Demon Lord, and soon enough we would watch her become the matriarch of the Abyssal Plains, uniting the entire world under her rule. It was almost too unreal to experience and see as a human. However, I was happy for Diana, and I was proud to stand beside her and support her through it all. The war was an experience and a half, and I would never forget it for as long as I lived. As for me, I found myself drawn to Diana, hoping to spend every night with her in my arms. The human world would become a faintly drifting memory as my life embedded itself into the demon world. Many demons questioned me, but Hotness and Diana defended me with every conflict that came. Aww! However, there was never a day that went by that I didn't wonder. Did I make the right choice? It was a heavy chapter of my life, one that tested the love between me and Diana. My heart seemed to remind me that I had come to the demon world to help Diana, and now it was time for her to honor her end of the deal. She had to teach me everything about the five worlds and about magic. As a queen, that was impossible now. To my surprise, I didn't seem to mind. I had been given the experience of a lifetime, and I easily accepted it as I promised to fulfill. The faint memory of my own power slightly tingled through me every time I grew confident, eagerly reminding me that I had strength of my own. I would never let anyone come between me and Diana ever again. The thoughts of it all echoed in my mind as I laid in bed, looking up at the ceiling with a wide-eyed smile on my face. Despite the dangers being real, the war was an adventure, fun to look back upon in my memories. I took in a breath and let out a sigh, leaning back against the arm, beneath my head and closing my eyes. I was at peace, and everything was alright. Are you okay, dear? Oh, I like that picture! Oh, that's so cute! They look adorable, the three of them. I opened my eyes at the sound of my pet name, looking up to see Diana smiling down at me. I could only giggle and cuddle into her embrace. I was just thinking about Who us. Who are you now? What about us? With a smile, I nuzzled Diana's chest softly and closed my eyes, listening to her steady and loving heartbeat. How thankful I am here to be with you. Diana stared down at me, gently hugging me to her. I could feel her own joy at the situation resonate from her embrace and her kiss over my fore my head. Hotness only chuckled as he laid on her other side, listening to us speak to each other. Hotness and I had gotten over our differences, and I was positive that we would be perfect together taking care of our demon queen. We both adored Diana, and found each other both equally held close to each side of her body every morning. I am thankful that you're here too. Both of you. You have done so much for me, and I will cherish you forevermore. I believed every word. I let her words embed themselves into my heart and I will remember them forever. As Diana hugged Hotness and I to her, the three of us let out a simultaneous sigh, a sigh of contentment. I would love her and continue to hold her close for the rest of my life. Nothing would be able to tear me away from her any longer. And that was our perfect happily ever after. I am thankful for you and you. Oh, I loved that. Oh, I loved that. Alright, let's go to the gallery. I have a feeling... No, it's not here. Is it in... Is it in Diana's? It is! So that is... Okay, 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 okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm assuming... 
Well, this seems to be the canon end. This does seem to be the canon ending. I'm assuming there's an ending here. I'm assuming this is an ending for Diana if you took her for herself, for yourself and didn't share hotness with her. And this is like the, the, the bad ending for Diana. That's what I'm assuming. But I want to I want to see this picture because it's so adorable. Oh, I'm so glad that all three of us can be happy together. Uh, I really loved Diana's path a lot. I loved it a lot. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's it's up there. It's way up there. I would probably put it at, you know, probably it could be it could be like maybe not second, but maybe third. Second or third, somewhere around there. Two, two and a half. It's like two and a half place in terms of where I feel like, you know, with all the other people that, the other, and the other stories that I had, the other paths. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was so cool. Cause yeah, like I said, it was super awkward being the other woman. And after it's, it's so different when you've played the other boys' paths and you've gotten to know hotness through their paths it's so hard to to just because you know hotness loves her you know like he deep loves her deeply and it's just really weird you know going into this parallel universe where you're in love with with her and hotness poor hotness is like seeing us as encroaching on his woman so this made it all better this the fact that we had the option to have this, and of course, if you didn't like the option of sharing with, 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 you know, with hotness, if you didn't want the whole polyamory thing, you could, you could keep her to yourself. Um, maybe there was also an ending. Maybe there's also an ending where you actually allow, you step back and you allow, um, you allow hotness to be with, to be with, um, to be with Diana. Maybe you decide that you. Maybe were more infatuated with Diana, didn't really love her, love her. Not as much as Hotness did, and you recognize that. So you step back and let Hotness be with her, and then maybe you got sent back to the human world. I don't know, that's just my guess. Um, but I, I really liked how, how this... Uh, this is my first time doing a, an official, official polyamorous relationship in a video game. And that's so cool, because I get to experience... I, I just don't understand why people are so turned off by by having a chance to experience something in a video game. It's just a video game. It's not real. It's pretend, you know, pretend to be someone you're not, pretend to do something that you normally wouldn't do. I mean, obviously, if it's stuff that you really aren't that into, like you have no pleasure in doing it, okay, I understand completely. Like, there's a reason why I don't really play Grand Theft Auto because yeah I mean I normally wouldn't do virtually everything that you do in Grand Theft Auto but I mean it would get really old with for me really quickly I wouldn't really enjoy it after one you know doing all the horrible things that you have to do and being the horrible person that you have to be in that game so um, but you know I, I embrace the ability to explore these different types of experiences in video games like this polyamorous relationship which I think to be very beautiful um, even though me personally it's not for me in real life I really don't think that I would pursue anything beyond a monogamous I'm perfectly fine with my husband and just my husband perfectly fine with that so but that doesn't mean that I can't you know Put myself into these shoes of these characters and enjoy the story. Um, I already gave my critique about Diana's length and not, uh, you know, ways that we could have made her story just as long as some of the boys, um, but I still enjoyed it. Like, they didn't draw it out, they didn't make this, her story as longer than it needed to be. It was just enough to tell the story, you know. And that's great. That's great. I really enjoyed her storyline a lot. And I'm so glad that I went back to Seduce Me 1 and played through her path and then played through this because it really it really made it, you know, a lot. It really made it a lot really complete. So, all right, guys. So that's it. Seduce Me Atome. Um, Seduce Me 2, The Demon War. 
I'm probably, in terms of the main campaign, that's probably all I'm gonna do. I don't, I know there's still tons of options that I didn't pick. There's other little, little choices and paths. Like, you know, for example, I still kind of ticked off that I wasn't able to go completely through rabbit's training, but I can do that on my own. I, I, I don't want to do, I don't want to exhaust everything in this Let's Plays because I want to give you viewers a chance to play the game on your own and find, leave you things with, you know, things that aren't shown on my playthrough so that, you know, you can experience things blindly yourself. And, um, but from what I heard, Michaela is coming out with some DLCs, some extra chapters. I heard that there's there's already a few extra chapters out right now. Epilogues for all the boys, which I'll probably do eventually. I don't know if I'll do it right away. I think I'm waiting for Damien's epilogue first. I think once Damien's epilogue first comes out, then I'll let's play that, and then I'll go ahead and do the epilogues of the other boys and Diana and Hotness, if there is one for them. Um, but then there's also going to be future DLCs for the weddings i heard each of the weddings that's cool um i think there's like a like 10 i feel like there's 10 different episodes that's coming out which is going to be awesome um and i probably will let's play those at minimum i'll play all of uh, at minimum i definitely will let's play all of the damien contents because damien is my canon relationship i still love damien to death He's such a great cinnamon roll kind of guy but that's something for you guys to look forward to. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, everybody, love yourselves and love each other. Hi, how can I? Oh. Hey, Michaela, I'm back. I'm back, Michaela. They rest in peace. Uh, well, shit, uh, I mean, <sighs> okay, yeah, sure, fine, you know the password, all right, I'll just show you what happened then, just don't, don't go telling anyone, okay? Okay, what's this? Ooh, is this a new game? <gasps> the Golden Rose, is this a new game? Oh, wait, wait, this Azir. is what Sa Sarah, I am so sorry. We saw this with Sam's path, didn't it's we? It's my fault that this war happened. I wanted to make a love story worth telling. A story worth the praise of the universe. But I didn't think of the consequences. If I didn't connect Harold Anderson to the boys, if I didn't force you to confront her, none of this would have happened. And now, you're falling into an endless hell. Oh. Because of me. Oh. Please. Let me give you the ending you deserve. The strong winds ran against their skin as Saro and Azair plummeted towards the decaying sea. Oh. There was no hope for survival, and they clung to each other as tightly as they could not daring to let go. Only two sentences were exchanged between them. I love you. I love you too. At last, they broke through the surface of the water, diving into its cruel depths. Sarah and Azair dug their nails into each other, desperate to remain connected, as the water pulled them further into the dark. Their hearts began to beat as one as their lungs slowly began to fill with water. Rapid, but defeated, their heartbeats pounded in their chest in acceptance of their fate. Still, they would not let go of one another, desperate to remain as one. The angels who watched felt their spirits become heavy in grief. The devils who observed felt a cold, unfamiliar sting within their chests. The demons who had followed them let silent and painful tears run along their cheeks. Heavy rain fell in the human world, and the mists of purgatory became dark in mourning. Wow, all the five, five worlds remained silent as the two beings gave into the water's warmth. Their bodies sank further in, wrapped by the tides and weight of the dark. Wow. However, they would not be taken into the dark. 
but guided to the light by their love. So that's what the happened. The punishment that plagued the sea was born from broken love, tainted by hatred and darkness. The remedy would be love as pure as light. Oh. Their true love tamed the curse within the waters, granting them a peaceful passage into death's embrace. Instead of forever living under the weight of water, their souls were whisked away, leaving their bodies to dissolve into sea foam. Oh, As the war cool. love ended, the curse that claimed control of the decaying sea at last vanished. Okay, that's but cool. But what of the two who healed it? The purity in their hearts guided their souls through the veins of the universe and into the heavenly city beyond. Cleansed of their wounds and sins, they were delivered through the passage of water to a paradise. Forever blessed, Sarah and Azair were granted entrance to a new heavenly Eden. Shangri-La. Oh. Is that, is that what a, a, oh, hotness. Wow, with a rose. Is that going to be, does that mean that, wait, does that mean that there's, that's going to be something to do with a third Seduce Me game? Shangri-La? Oh, wow. I'm not sure what to think about that. That was really interesting. That was really cool. It was really cool to be able to, to see that happy ending with Hotness and, and, um, and Diana because they really do deserve it. And it's interesting. Now I know why Pernfan told me to get Hotness as a trainer in Sam's path because it seemed like that event where they're falling only will happen if you took if you only happens during Sam's path and you choose hotness as your trainer and you were able to get hotness to prove his love to to um, Diana that's a lot that you need to do to get that to get that to happen um, I'm not sure how I feel about that unique ending being only available to Sam like, why is it Sam is the one that gets to have that ending? It, it makes it feel like... It, 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 I, I heard from someone back in Seduce Me 1 that Sam is supposed to be the canon relationship. And that, that does put a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth because I feel like it, it spoils the game when, when there is a notion of, oh, this is the canon relationship. Because if there's five guys, at least, it's like... Really? And having Sam, having that ending be like the major ending for the bonus only adds to the whole, yeah, Sam is clearly the, clearly the bonus, or clearly the, excuse me, clearly the canon relationship, which, which, you know, I, I do have, to, if I'm going to give a critique, I, I love this game, absolutely love the game, but if I have to give a critique, that, that does leave a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. I, hopefully you guys understand, but it's not enough for me to change my opinion of how much I absolutely love this game. This is a fantastic series, and it was really cool to see that neat ending um, uh, in the bonus in the bonus clip. So thank you again so much to Michaela and to everyone else um, who was involved in this project. It was there were so many people who were involved, not just the voice actors, but everyone the artists and everyone who is involved in putting this game together thank you guys so much uh if you are interested in watching i supposedly am having an interview as of this recording as of me recording this right now i have an interview tomorrow with michaela the creator of seduce me as well as hopefully hopefully all five of the guys who voice act the five major succubi incubi characters um, at least as far as I know they're all coming, but we'll see. We'll see how many end up end up being able to make it. I'm hoping all five do, but at minimum we'll have Michaela and a couple of the guys. But cross your fingers we'll have all five. Anyway, definitely check that out um, because it gives us an opportunity to really get to know Michaela and the boys and probably ask a lot of really interesting questions about this game. So that's more for you guys to look forward to. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, love yourselves, and love each other.